Hello everyone, welcome to Dips. Today we are going to um, unbox and check out not one but two OnePlus Nord. So let's get to it. So I got it unboxed and um, I re reorganized it a bit. Uh, now let's go through them and see what's inside. So it comes in a sleeve of some sort, very translucent, very sleek. Um, let's open it up. Oh, wow, I'm done. This is how we open it. Nice. This is the blue one. This is for my wife. And the other one is the black one. This is for me. Right? I'm gonna face it up. Uh oh. Never mind. This is better, I guess. Anyways, um, it comes with welcome letter. I'm gonna read the letters, what it says. Um, it says, Dear friend, today when a new phone hits its market, we often ask, what are the are its specs? But then we will be asking the wrong question. Because if the experience is smooth, if the camera is powerful and the quality is exceptional, if everything works just the way we expect, do the specs really matter? Well, I understand what the messaging is here. So basically they're saying that if everything works for you, do you really care for the specs that much? Because th there is a little bit of compromise there and you know when you buy a mid-tier phone. So that compromise is there. You know this is not a flagship, but it shouldn't feel make you feel restricted. That's what the messaging is. Good enough. I think um, apart from that, there are the chargers. This is 30 watt um, warp charger. Uh, the warp charging, there's no wireless charging, but the wired charging in itself is 30 watts. So it should be very, very fast. Um, that's what I'm expe uh, expecting. So it comes with the sleeves. I don't use it, but my wife might. Um, and this is a very good, nice gesture, good addition. It's a nice goodie to have. And it also comes with a box of swag. I'm guessing I haven't opened it. I just opened it up as an open the package. Um, comes with a SIM pin and a couple of stickers, quick start guide, safety manual. Um, the red cable club. It's a card. I don't. I, I never owned a OnePlus device, so I don't really know what it's supposed to be. But it's a card. Um, I'll figure it out what to do with this. Thank you so much, um, OnePlus. Alright, so that was the unboxing part of the video. Now, I want to do a quick review. Um, it will not be a full review because there are actually way too many of them on the internet. I just want to do it from my perspective, what I figured out, what I can see. Alright, so here's the phone compared to my previous driver that is Moto G5. Um, I've been long overdue for an upgrade. But anyways, so it's a bit thinner, but a bit taller than that one. So I'm going to keep that aside. Uh, so this feels okay. It's a bit more wider for me, for my hand. But this one feels just right. This one feels just right. A little bit taller, but I don't mind that. Um, I like a bit smaller phones. Display is not that big of an issue for me. Uh, the display PPI is what matters for me more. Um, so this is the black one, this is mine. The blue one has been confiscated uh, from me um, and it will be opened up in the morning. So I had uh, opened the, uh, I had ordered this phone about a week back when it was up for pre-ordered on Amazon. And the blue one has been ordered on 6th morning um, and I got it in the 6th afternoon. Um, anyways, so this is the startup experience. I wanted to share that with you guys. And now I have to go through all the state setup and we'll come back after the setup is done. Alright, 
So I have now set up the form, um, the preliminary setup. And uh, so it now understands my fingerprint, it reads fingerprint. And yeah, pretty neat um, unlocking experience. We can also unlock it with other patterns and pins and other stuff, but this is pretty cool. I like it. Um, I don't like the notch or the pull out camera for the selfie, the front facing camera, but they have done a pretty um, amazing job uh, at hiding it out. So you don't get to see it on the default uh, background, but if you go to uh, any other background that has white, um, like a light background, then you get to see it. It's not obstructive, it's pretty neat the way they have done it. I like it this way, I can live with it. I generally don't like the uh, notch, but this whole bunch, yeah, this is pretty good. Um, apart from that, this is pretty uh, basic Android experience, though just the way I like it. I don't like too many bloatware, so that's also good for me. Uh, good for me. Um, there was one uh, concern that was raised that some of the devices have screen issues where there are tints of different colors. And my one doesn't, so I probably got lucky, but I'm also assuming that it's not affecting all the devices, it's only a few. Um, so it's good that I don't have it, um, lucky. Um, I am already getting the update. I will update the phone um, soon after. So um, aside from the front facing camera, um, the back facing camera, as in the main camera, is actually the same camera. The main camera is the same one from the OnePlus 8. Um, so that's a good thing. Um, so. Another point here to talk about is that why this device is less costly than uh, the premium devices, the flag, uh, flagship devices. Um, there are two different ways to go on about it. The first one is the, the processor is um, one step down instead of 865, it's 765. Um, to me, it doesn't really matter as much um, because the things that the, the tasks that I'll do, 765 is more than enough. Uh, but uh, the other parts that some people do care about is that the water um, uh, resistance and dust resistance certification. So there was another video where um, NTPHD talks about it um, in an interview and they, they, they explain why that's the case. Even though the devices are pretty good, well, equi uh, well equipped to um, deal with the dust resistance and water resistance, but certification in itself is a costlier affair, so that increases the price. So if you don't get it certified, you save up and so you can make the devices cheap. So in that sense, this device is a lot cheaper because it doesn't have the certification, even though it can actually tolerate decent amount of water and dust. Um, so I just mentioned, wanted to mention that because it just doesn't come with the certification, but it's good enough. So. In the display, um, so the display is pretty slick as well, and it's a 90 hertz display. So if you want to uh, switch it up to a 60 hertz, not switch it up, switch it down, essentially, um, it will save a battery life. And for me, the 60 hertz is more than enough. I don't really mind. Maybe if I'm playing some games or anything, then it it might matter. But 60 hertz is pretty neat. Um, but 90 hertz is available if you like it that way. Um, um, so also. Uh, there's another feature that's OnePlus um, special, I would say, that is the uh, notification rocker. So it has three states. Now, right now, it has um, it is in the loud mode. Then you can put it in the vibration mode or completely silent mode, as you can see. So um, that's one cool, neat feature that OnePlus has, and I really like it. I look forward to use that. All right, so. That's pretty much what I wanted to talk about. Um, I know this is not a complete uh, review. I'm not well equipped, equipped for it. Um, thanks to Momita for holding the camera. Um, I'm considering making more videos. So stay tuned for those ones. See you guys in the next video. Thanks.